first graders and second graders. This week I'm really excited because we are going to go live in drawing a rocket ship this week. I always start with my second graders working on a really cool rocket ship painting, but lo and behold, we are not in our classroom to do that. And so I'm going to modify and change it around a little bit and let my first and second graders play around with making a rocket ship. You can paint it, use colored pencils, crayons, or whatever you have at home to colorize it. But I'm gonna read you a story first right now. Then when you guys come to our Google Meets on Wednesday, we will draw live. Um, if you happen to not be able to make it to the meeting, you can always draw your own rocket ship. I'll put a few examples on after Wednesday of what we kind of worked on. So without further ado, this is one of my all-time favorite books. Many of you seen it in my classroom. I think it's actually out of print, so I could not find a cool read aloud of it, but it is called Wow America. Um, it focuses on three different characters, which you'll meet Izzy, her little sister, and their dog. So let's find out. All right. Izzy was a mountain girl. She lived up on top of the world. Izzy's little sister, Joe, went running down the mountain. So... Izzy followed after Wow America, a book by Robert Neubecker. Wow Lobsters. New England is famous for fishing and ships and patriots and pilgrims. What I like about this book is that on each page you'll see um, the dog and you can look for Izzy and you can also look for her little sister. So when you get back to my classroom, I hope that you can kind of play around. I'll try to pan the book around so you can see a little bit, but I know it's a little tough to see it on camera. Ooh, this one's a good one. Wow. Statue. The Statue of Liberty is in New York Harbor and stands for freedom and hope to the whole world. So you can see here's Izzy, Joe, and her dog are all inside the Statue of Liberty. All right, let's see what's next. Wow! Falls. In 1901, a teacher named Annie Taylor went over Niagara Falls in a barrel, then said, no one ought to ever do that again. I like that the dog is right here with a raincoat on. So if you're at Niagara Falls on the Canadian border, there are many, um, the Maid of the Mist, there's many ships that will go out and you can see the falls up close. But because you're so close to it, you get wet. So you have to wear a rain jacket. Ooh, this is a cool one. Wow. Capital. It's Washington, D.C. You can check out some cool things like the Jefferson Monument, the Lincoln Monument, the Washington Monument, the White House. Washington, D.C., the country's capital, is filled with monuments and museums. The president lives here. Wow! Beach! Once pirates buried treasure along the Atlantic coast. Today, the seashore is for playing. This is the one inspiring our artwork. Wow. Space. At Cape Canaveral, Florida, big rockets blast off bound for outer space. So our space program called NASA launches their rocket ships at Cape Canaveral in Florida. It's a pretty cool site. Many people go down there to visit when a rocket ship will be launched. All right, let's see where else we can go. Wow, pie. Fairs are held in every state and county in the summer. There are rides and animals and wonderful food. Wow, party! 
In New Orleans, Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday, is celebrated with costumes, parties, music, dancing, and an amazing parades. Wow, oh, this is like a giant one. Look how long it is, river. The Mississippi is the biggest river in North America. It flows south from Minnesota all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. Can you spell it? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I -S -S -I -I. Oh my goodness, this is our city. Hello. Wow. Tall. This is a famous artwork called the Picasso. It's named after the artist Picasso. Chicago was called the city of big shoulders by the poet Carl Sandburg. All right. Wow, corn. Lots of corn is grown in the Midwest, more than any other crop. This part of the country is called America's bread basket. Wow, cowboys. Cowboys and cowgirls raise cattle on ranches all over the West. They ride horses and wrangle cows. Wow, let's open up one. Canyon, it's the Grand Canyon. Arizona's Grand Canyon was carved by the Colorado River over a million years ago. It's a mile deep. Guess who's hiked to the bottom of it? I have. I'll have to show you some pictures when we're back in class together. Wow. Mountains. The Rocky Mountains span the western region of the United States from the Mexican border to Alaska. Ooh, wow. Trees. Look how little Izzy and her sister are. And my favorite part is I believe the dog's hidden somewhere up here in the trees. Giant sequoias in California can be more than 300 feet tall and 3,000 years old. That's crazy. 3,000 year old tree? Whoa. Wow, fish. The Northwest wild salmon swim upstream in huge schools. So a group of fish is called a school. Wow, volcanoes. Mauna Loa is the world's biggest volcano. Kilua is the most active. Both are in Hawaii. Izzy and Joe are here, and I think our dog is all the way down here in this little house. Wow, ice. Alaska's giant glaciers are made of moving snow and ice that never melts away. Wow. Home. The end. What I like is there's a really cool map. So when you're back in my classroom, you can kind of see this is in Florida where Cape Canaveral, where we're going to be making our rocket ships from. But it shows you where all these cool landmarks are all over the U.S. But it's a great book. You may have seen some books by this art author. He has books, I believe, one called Wow School, and there's one Wow Fish. So there's a lot of cool ones. So get ready on Wednesday. We're making our own rocket ships. I can't wait. Drawing live. I will see you Wednesday. Love you guys and miss you.